One of the most vital characteristics of your truck are your truck tires. When your traction is compromised, your safety is compromised, and so is the safety of others around you. In this video, I'm gonna talk about five important characteristics of good drive truck tires that'll help keep you glued to the road this winter. This video is brought to you by Great Lakes Cold Logistics. Great Lakes Cold Logistics is now an employee-owned company. That's huge. That means that truck drivers for Great Lakes Cold Logistics now share in the company profits on top of their paid work time. And that work time for experienced drivers is up to 70 cents per mile. This company is going places. Check them out at drivegreatlakes.com. Probably the most important characteristic of a winter traction tire is tread depth. How deep this tread is. The deeper, the better, because the deeper, the more snow it can grab. Now to pass a safety, the law says in most states and provinces, that you only need six 30 seconds of an inch of tread to pass the safety. To give you an idea of why that's not adequate, in the winter time, most good grip winter tires run about 28 30 seconds of an inch, almost an inch deep. The deeper, the better. The second most important characteristic of a new good style winter tire is siping. And what siping is, are laser cut thin lines that run crossways across the tread of the tire. And the idea of these is that when the weight of the tire is pressed against the pavement, those little cuts or sipes open up a little because of the weight and the pressure and help grip and grab especially on ice and slippery conditions to help give you more traction. Siping was originally uh, invented by truckers oddly enough and they would they would literally saw or cut cross grooves into the tires to help them in, in icy conditions and then the tire industry caught on to what the truck drivers were doing now siping has become pretty much standard practice with all the major tire manufacturers for both truck and car tires. Now winter drive traction tires come in two styles. They have a closed shoulder, such as you see here, and they come in an open shoulder, which will be knobs even on the outside ring of the tire. Now generally, the open shoulder or the knobs right to the outside are better tires for off-road, secondary road, gravel road, those kind of conditions, but they tend to cup when you run them for long periods of time on the interstate. So if you're doing interstate trucking, which most guys generally do, you're better off with a closed shoulder like this because the tire will last longer and the grip difference will be minimal. The open shoulder will self-clean a little better, but if you're not in off-road conditions or logging roads, generally these will be fine for the interstate. Now the latest, greatest technology out of California like super single tires. I don't like those for winter traction at all. I run uh, a dual tire setup. Generally they're wider than a super single so you get more surface road contact out of a set of duals than you will out of super singles. And part of the reason super singles came into being was that they were a low resistance rolling tire, meaning they'd get better fuel mileage. Well that may work great on dry pavement, but for in snowy conditions, that's no good at all because they've got virtually no tread so they can grab virtually no snow and they'll wipe their feet and slide rather than grip in the snow. So you don't want super singles if you're traveling on snowy interstates. The last thing you should know about heavy truck tires, winter drive tires, are the brands. And generally, the rule of thumb is uh, that the more you pay, the better the tire you get. Michelin is probably recognized as the premier winter traction tire and I priced the top Michelin's are running about 650 US per tire so it's not a cheap endeavor to put all new rubber on for the winter but Bridgestone makes a very good winter tire and BF Goodrich I've used BF Goodrich for years I've had good luck with them and Continental also makes a good winter tire so they're all comparable it's just you'll pay a little more for the top brands like Michelin and Bridgestone so in conclusion, when you're looking for heavy traction, good winter tires for your truck, you're looking for tread depth. Tread depth, 
rule of thumb is the deeper the tread, the better. You're looking for siping, which are the fine cut cross lines across the surface of the tread of the tire to help you grip on ice and snow. You're looking for dual tires rather than super singles. You're looking for either an open shoulder or a closed shoulder tire, depending on application. And again, for interstate work, I recommend the closed shoulder. And you're looking for brand. And generally, again, the rule of thumb is the more money you pay, the better the tire you get. Michelin and Bridgestone's at the top of the heap, but there are comparable brands like BF Goodrich and Continental. They're a little less money and they work almost as well. Remember, traction is extremely important, especially in the winter because it's all about safety and you don't want to be sliding down the mountain backwards and you don't want to be sliding into cars. Tires are an extremely important part of the truck. You want the best that money can buy, the best available to you. My story for today, I can tell you from personal experience that truck tires have come a long way since the 70s when I started driving. I was running the mountains in the 70s and generally when you saw the hill, you might as well just put on your chains. They were they were tube tires and they were only they only came in one compound of rubber and they were very hard, but they didn't grip particularly well. These days, heavy traction winter tires have come a long, long way. They're really very good these days. And that's one thing where trucking and the trucking industry has improved drastically. The new truck tires for traction are leagues and leagues better than those old tube tires we used, we used to have in the 70s. Take care, keep the rubber side down, stay stuck and glued to the road this winter, and we'll see you on the backhaul.